You know the world of English is a fun and exciting place to be. I'm so glad you could join me for another lesson. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. In today's lesson, we will talk about the awkward and some would say embarrassing subject of our faults and bad habits. Do you like my nose? I picked it myself. The word fault means something that is not perfect or isn't completely correct. There are other words that can be connected to fault, such as abnormality, blemish, defacement, defect, disfigurement, failing, flaw imperfection and irregularity. All of those words you just heard relate to the appearance of something or how it looks. However, the word fault can also be used to show a wrong action. We can say, it is your fault. That is your mistake. You did that wrong. That happened because of you. You must take the blame for this. You really screwed up. When we use these sentences, we are telling the other person that they are responsible for the mistake. We are blaming them for it. Of course, a fault can also be related to another part of our behaviour. Bad habits. Bad habits are things we do that annoy other people, or may appear unpleasant, rude, or even dangerous. There are many bad habits around. For example, Biting your fingernails. Talking with your mouth for the food. Picking your nose. <sighs> Not taking a regular bath or shower. Being late for an appointment. Watching too much TV. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Drinking too much alcohol, such as beer and wine. <coughs> Smoking cigarettes. <coughs> Not changing your socks. Talking for ages on the phone. There are other words that can be used to describe our personal habits, such as custom, eccentricity, foible, idiosyncrasy, Oddness, peculiarity, quirk, routine, and shortcoming. What's that smell? Oh no!
It is fair to say that nobody is perfect. We all have little habits or something we do that annoys others. Sometimes they may be hard to accept. They can even lead to the breakup of relationships, such as marriage. So it is true to say that everyone has some little fault that is a part of his or her character. The only way to really deal with it is to try and live with it, or the consequences could be disastrous. I will leave you for now because another lesson has come to an end. This is Mr. Duncan in England saying, be good, stay happy and healthy for me. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> mm, that's better.